Hi, this is Quant Nomad. Welcome to my channel. So here I have my 3 commas account open and uh, already automated long short strategy from uh, TradingView. And if you use uh, 3 commas, you probably know that if you want to automate long short strategy, you need to specify uh, to create two different bots for long side and for short side. And uh, then you need to use at least four alerts from TradingView to open and close position for long bot and close uh, open and close position for short bot. And the interesting part is that I used only one alert for that. And in this video, I will show you how you can do that because it's quite simple and um, it really can be interesting because it can save you quite a lot of alerts on trading you and it's much more easier to manage your uh, multiple strategies if you have only one alert per strategy and i don't think i will go into details how you can automate um, your strategy in using three commas in general i have separate video about that but the idea is pretty simple so you have uh, like a url for webhook and you can send different messages to and depend on condition, depend on what do you want your uh, bot to, to do. Um, you need to send kind of different messages you see he, all here. So um, let me go uh, to my trading view and I will show you my setup. So uh, first let's check alerts. And as I said, I have only one alert but it's pretty interesting alert. So um, first of all, it's created on a strategy and not on a study. So you cannot do this kind of stuff on a study. So you need to use uh, strategies and sometimes it's even easier because you don't need to translate it from strategy to study. What you see on back tests, uh, you can actually quite easily to automate the same stuff and not trying to move your script from like a strategy to study all the time. So, um, it's created on strategy because um, in strategy you have uh, like uh, this uh, placeholder, so this parameter strategy dot order dot alert message, and uh, this parameter can be dynamical depend on your condition. So for every uh, basically order, it can be different. It can be dynamic as well inside the order if you want to. And here I use like webhook URL and I use a three commas URL for that. So it's uh, quite simple and also for simplicity, I created uh, like a four, a four, four parameters inputs uh, and I use here my messages from uh, three commas so I don't need to kind of um, um, hard code it into my code. I just can replace it in my parameters and just add it to chart, create alerts on it and that's it. I don't need to change my code all the time with a new uh, new messages. So now let's check um, the code. Um, so code is very, very simple. So this is a very basic Blinger band strategy, nothing fancy at all. So here are my inputs I will use uh, as, as a messages to three commas. Here you can see just calculation for um, Blinger bands. Here are my signals. And here is interesting part. So here are my um, orders um, for, um, for three commas. And uh, there are two interesting things. So first of all, I'm using um, as an additional condition, bar state is confirmed. I'm using this to avoid getting multiple orders um, for the same bar. And um, for market orders, it works very good. And I'm not sure about like stop limit orders in uh, PineScript. I need to uh, play around with it to find out how it works. And second interesting uh, part is that you have this alert message. And here I just using my inputs uh, from, uh, from, from my parameters basically, and that's it. So as you can see, it's quite simple, but it works pretty good. So depends on, on different orders, my, um, my script will send different uh, messages to three commas and you basically can do, uh, can automate like a pretty complicated strategy uh, with only one alert instead of at least four. And if you're using um, out of view, uh, this actually feature can be even more interesting for you. Point is that you don't have like a already kind of pre-built messages uh, for out of view. You have something like this. And it can be quite interesting because you can change quite a lot of things depend on things happening in your code. So for example, you can go and change, you know, like price, a quantity. You can even try to inside one script to trade a different pairs or something like that because you can kind of all dynamically create uh, this uh, message to out of you. Uh, probably will record like a special video for that, but just 
take a look at it. It can be interesting for you. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you.